Hello, I'm Mixed Mars and Mara Man, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to take a quick little look at a quantum lawnmower, and this will also work on any other lawnmower that has a bowl nut jet um, style carburetor. If your lawnmower is hunting, surging, which means the revs are going up and down, up and down, up and down, uh, no matter how fine or how aggressive this is, um, this video should be 99% fixed, all you need to do without even cleaning the carburetor. So if you'd like to watch this little video, give us a quick thumbs up, hit the off subscribe button, or whack the old bell along the journey, and that way I can show you how to fix this hunting and surging lawnmower problem on the Quantum or any other lawnmower that has a bowl nut style jet on the bottom of a carb. Okay, so all we're going to need for this, literally, is going to be either a half inch um, spanner or a, a ratchet with a half inch socket. Uh, half inch should be that one there. Is that half inch? Yeah, half inch. We'll go for a slightly bigger ratchet. Let me go for the next one up. And that should be all the tools you need apart from one other very, very simple bit of equipment. So. This fix should take you no more than five minutes, okay? So this little Hater 41 auto drive has got quite a few issues with it as it goes. But literally, <clears throat> um, I needed to make sure the machine ran before I could continue with uh, the rest of the fix. Um, it's got the height adjustment issue on the front. This lawnmower I bought about two years ago. And um, I just pulled it out, out the store. It's been there for two years, put a new spark plug in. Got it running with a bit of carburetor spray, but it is um, displaying a bit of a hunt and a surge. It's not massively aggressive, but it is not running correctly. So let's just fire it up. It is very, very warm. So I have had it running and just listen to the hunt and surge. So there you go, hunting and surging. So it's not aggressive aggressive, but it is rather annoying. And all you need for this is uh, make sure your fuel level is, is quite low. <clears throat> if it's not, you need to get yourself a pair of uh, fuel clamps, hemostats, or something along that line just to clamp your fuel off, or you can just drain the fuel out of the tank, one or the other. So the, the choice is completely yours. So I've got myself a little set of fuel clamps here which you can buy for about 99p off of Amazon or eBay. Little set of fuel clamps, just gonna clamp that fuel off so we don't lose any excessive fuel. And what I then wanna do is just remove the HT lead so the machine cannot fire up. Make sure it's not sitting over the top. If needed, get a bit of a turn just so it doesn't actually coincide uh, on, on the spark, or in the spark plug, so it actually will start, okay. Now, all we're gonna do is get your half inch. Make sure it's on, on undo. And then underneath here is a carburetor. There's a little tiny half inch um, bolt under the carby. All we're gonna do is just slack them that off. Now the bowl nut itself, you may lose a little bit of fuel, but that's to be expected. The bowl itself should stay where it is. Just gonna loosen that off all the way. We're nearly there, ain't we? Can't have much more to go. Yeah, there it is. They're starting to come. Bit of upside down and going on. Just literally going to remove the bowl nut off the bottom of that carby. Mine's well on there, it's been on there for about two years. There you go. And that's the bit we're after. The little tiny bowl nut, just there. Okay, let's go inside the shed and I'll show you what to do to stop that from hunting and surging. Okay, up on the bench, and here is our offending article, okay? A uh, little tiny uh, bowl nut, a little tiny washer on there. There's a bit of dirt on here, nothing um, nothing strenuous, but there is actually a hole all the way through. Uh, I'm trying to find the hole where it is there somewhere. There's a hole, so it's all the way through, so it's not actually plugged, but your problem's gonna be here. There's a little tiny jet uh, associated in this hole here. That could either be plugged or just restricted, okay? So you can try getting your WD-40, all that sort of stuff, you know. I use a thing called Pocket Rockets, lovely. Um, 
it's not aggressive. You can give that a spray, put it down into there, give that a spray. And you can see it's actually running, okay? So it's actually running. So, but you still might put that on off a clean and it still hunts and surge. Um, so how do we fix that? Well, my fix, I think, um, will absolutely nail it. It should nail it. On eBay, Amazon, you can find these. Um, Union Tool, uh, they've come under a thing called um, thumb drills, okay? That's what I found them under. 10 piece, made in Japan, um, Union Tool and the thumb drills. And they're little tiny, 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 little tiny drill bits, okay? Tiny. Now all you wanna do, now I know it's that one, uh, by by just just by uh, use of um, of machines, um, the orange one is one that tends to do it for me. But start at the bottom and work your way up. Okay, so that one fits no problem at all, no drama. Uh, go to the yellow one. That one fits no drama. And just work your way up until you find the right one. That goes in, no problem. But the orange one, that one won't. Okay, it won't go in. So what we're going to do now is very, very gently, we're just going to just gonna, literally going to reface that um, this main jet. Now, what I will say is you need to just start it, back it off, start it, back it off. If you snap it, you want a new a new bowl nut. Okay, so go, just go very, very easy. Time is is not a problem for us. So it's just starting to snag there. I'm going to pull put a bit of resistance, put them backwards, and just try and ease that little tiny. Um, drill into this into this jet. Now on the copies, uh, they have a slightly harder compound on these carburetors, but on the genuines, which this is, um, they don't. So a little bit of a penetrating lube goes in there just to help it out a bit. And we're going to go again. And what you're after, you're after seeing this drill bit go all the way in to here, so you can see it through this hole just here. That's what you're actually after. Okay. So just take your time. It's starting. It's just bitten there, but it's not. It's not quite enough. So I'm going to back it off a touch. I'm going to go one down. Just going to clean them surfaces up a touch inside. Just to try and help it out. I'm going to go one up. I think that might be a bit bigger actually. That one there. Yeah, we'll go that one next. But I'm going to work my way up to that little orange one. That's the one you want to get to. And it will go in, but oh, you have to be so careful because these are so small, they, they, they will just snap on you. That's going. Back it off, and I'll get caught. It just started to bite then. I'm going to back it off now. Now we're going in. Now we're in. Okay, we're in there now. So we're in all the way. Let me get a torch and just to show you what I mean. Let me grab a spotlight. I have one here earlier in my uh, toolbox of many things. Uh, there's a light there, look. Let's put that onto there. Right, so now, you can see this, which I'll try my hardest, uh, but now you should better see, just inside there, you can actually see the drill bit is actually inside. Can you see that? I can, okay? So that's what you're after. And ultimately, you wanna be able to spin that, but then retract it at the same time by pulling up on it. That's what you're after. If you can retract it by pulling it backwards, that's that, that's golden. Then see, then you've got a bit of a residue on there. Clean that off, and we're going to go back in two or three times, just so you know that you can literally push that all the way in and drag it all the way out. That's when you know you've you've nailed it. Okay, if that snaps off inside, game over. New bowl nut. So go very very easy with it. Okay, just a little bit at a time, bit of penetrating lube. I've snapped loads. That's the truth, right? I have snapped loads, but if you go a bit easy. All we're doing is refacing. There's a bit of brass on the top of that jet just there. Can you see that? My camera's not very bright. A little tiny bit of brass right on the very top of there. Can you see that? So that's, we're just refacing it. That's all we're doing. And now we'll put that in there. You'll see that shoot out of there. That'd be lush, right? On both sides as well. There you go. So that's in there now. We'll clean the jet out, one final sweep in, and look, see, we can now drag this drag this drill bit in and out. Yeah, now that, that little fix has taken me five minutes, literally five minutes. Um, it may take guys a bit longer, because you have to go a bit careful. I've done loads of these, loads, hundreds I've done of these. Give that a little dry off. Make sure we've got no foreign objects in and around the, the main jet hole itself. A little tiny fibre washer goes back on top. Let's go back out to a lawnmower refit this and we we'll go from there right 
back out to the mower. So technically, I hadn't actually cleaned this carburetor at all. Okay, no cleaning. Just removed the bowl nut. So all I'm now going to do is put my new bowl nut, or new bowl nut, my reconditioned one, um, back inside the carby. And some lawnmowers, they hunt and surge like absolute pigs. And you think, oh my lord, I can't use that. There's a bit of a fiddle. You can take the carby off to do it, okay? But, you know, for, for what it is, ease of access on these little quantums, ease of access, you can you can nail this, you guys. It just takes a bit of practice. Once you get a bowl nut started, you'll be golden. Them thumb drills only cost about, I don't know, four quid. They don't cost a lot. You can tip the lawnmower up on its side as well if you want to. Just got to locate the hole. Once the hole's located, it go in. There it goes. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Right. Just make sure your bowl nut, your bowl actually hasn't dropped. Put that to do up. Stick that up into there. And do your bowl nut up. But don't don't hang on that. Okay. It doesn't have to be done excessively tight. Just got to be that up there, nice and snug. Now, this little lawnmower has been in my store for two years. It's now going to get a, the mixed mowers treatment. So, up rather snug. HT lead back on. Fuel clamps off. Whilst I'm just readjusting the camera, uh, we'll be checking for fuel leaks. Make sure we've got no fuel leaks going on. So, let's just bring you guys up so you can see what you're doing. Let's put you to about there. How's that? that do you? Quick little wipe under the carb with your hand, checking for any leaks, no leaks. So now it should start, and also the advantage to this is once it's done, this will also cure other issues like if it won't idle. So if the machine's not actually idling, this should cure that as well. So now no choke required because the machine's nice and hot. Have we fixed the hunt and surge? Or better choke maybe. There you go. Fixed. Idle. On a full throttle. Fixes a hunt and surge problem 99% of the time and it costs you four quid. So there you have it. One very, very quick little fix. It took me three or four minutes to do and it will only cost you around about four pounds for a set of these thumb drills. Uh, as I say, they're on, they're on the, the label here. It just purely says uh, Union Tool uh, Qualified. That's all it says. But little tiny thumb drills, multicolored ones. You can buy them in different types, but I've always found the orange one is the one to use. As long as you just go very, very careful. Remember what I said, if you're using it on a, on a, a copy carburetor, whether it be a, a Decumps or whether it be a Quantum or anything like that, if you're using it on a copy one, for some reason the brass is slightly harder. So you may have to go down a few sizes to get to pilot the hole to get up to the orange. You may need to do that. I'll go out on a limb and I'll say this should fix 99% of the hunting and surging or non idling faults. Uh, on a Quantum or Decumps engine, the one with the bowl nut jet um, that's incorporated, if you just drill them out ever so slightly with the orange one, you too will be mowing as happy as Larry. So there you go, quick little fix for you. I hope it helps you out. If you like this little video, then hit the old subscribe button and whack the old bell. Set notifications to all, that way you'll be told next time I upload another video. I look forward to this episode of Mixed Mowers very, very soon, but until then, people don't forget, much more importantly, take it easy.